where are all the girls that love low density styles? I got one to show you. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen today, brand new from John Renault. This is Dawn. The color is 1426 S10, which is shaded pralines and cream. This wig was provided by Wig Studio One for review for you today. If you have any questions about this wig, I will also put a link in the drop down box where you can order. Just reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. They'll be happy to answer any questions you have. All right, let's look at John Renault Dawn. Look at this profile and the silhouette is beautiful on this wig. I think it is so beautifully done in the back. Just perfect. Now, this is made from the John Renault Heat Defiant Fibers. I want to call to your attention, come, that came with it is this care card. And I think this is so nice. It has how to care for every type of fiber they make. That is just, I think, wonderful information. There's a QR code on the back where you can even get more information here, additional resources. But this is a wonderful care card that came with this wig. Also, of course, a wide tooth comb. Now make sure on these heat defiant fibers, you are using the correct heat temperatures. Each manufacturer varies a little bit on their heat, what they recommend for their fibers. So again, if you need help with that, just reach out to us at support at wigstudio1.com and they will gladly give you that information. Like I said, super low density. You can see how sleek this is. There's no permatease here to speak of. I'm feeling around and I just do not really feel any to speak of. Maybe the slightest amount at the nape, but really really no it is just super super low density fits me a little large i have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and john renault usually does fit me just a tad large so if that's helped you i just think this is such a nice bob just a classic silhouette so Dawn features an extended lace front and a really large mono top. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So it provides you with styling options. That mono top runs all the way over here. So you can change this part. You can wear it on either side. It comes down the middle. I wanted to show you how it comes out of the box. Let me zoom in and show you this lace front. Okay, here's the lace front of Dawn. It comes all the way down to here. And you'll see my bio hair there and there, so it has really nice coverage, but look at this beautiful, beautiful lace front. So the specs of this, the bang is nine inches. The crown is eight and a half. The sides are 5.75, has a two inch nape, and it weighs 3.5 ounces. A lot of movement here. Now, I think that you could add, you know, let's separate these fibers a little. You know, that's something I always like to do. I have some of the John Renault Pick Me Up Volumizing and Dry Shampoo. And I'm just going to run a little of that through here, just a little, just to separate the fibers. You know, I do that all the time. I showed you how I do that. And I also like to really get my hands in my wigs. Don't be afraid to move the fibers around. That wakes these fibers up. They get a little mash down in shipping, of course. And if you will just move them around, pull them away from the cap, give them some life, that makes all the difference sometimes. You'll get more movement and a much more natural look. I'm going to insert some outdoor uh, footage of the color, but let's talk about shaded pralines and cream 1426 S10. Light blonde and medium red gold blonde. Look at the highlighting in here. It's got that little bit of gold and blonde highlighting running all throughout on a shaded root. Not overdone. Beautiful rooting on this wig. If you aren't really a fan of roots but you like this color otherwise just have a look at this one because this root is very subtle it is not overdone at all in my opinion and i think the highlighting just gives this so much life it's not flat it's not dull at all okay let's look at the inside of the cap look at this large mono top on this really 
really nice. You can part anywhere within there, extended lace front, closed ear tabs with stays, open wefting. It does not have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters. Stretch here, but that is just a beautifully well done mono top on this wig. Now for styling, I would just use a couple of clips. You know, that's what everybody's wearing are these little tiny, tiny clips. You can pick them up anywhere. And I just will just barely pull a little back, give it a little twist, pull it off my face just a little. And you can get it off your face that way. You know, this is so low density, you can easily tuck this behind your ears on both sides. Have a super sleek look, or just wear one side tucked behind your ears and one side down, one side behind your ears. Easy to do it that way. Put it on with a headband, of course. Tuck it behind your ears there if you like. I always just pull a little out, just my way. I'm going to wear it like that. And you could also pull this completely off your face and wear it pinned back. And that would be cute as well. You know, just pull some back, put it in a clip like that. Now let's talk about changing this part. Now, like I said, you can move this around. However, you're going to have to work with it a little bit, as you can see, because it comes part in the middle. You're going to need to work with this. Now, of course, we all know the old trick we use of warming our hands up, putting some heat on it. That's been a technique that's been around a long time, and we all know and have used it. However, on this one, I think you might need a little more than that. It's really wanting to fall in my face. I'm not a fan of that. However, you could train this. You can see, just with a little training, you could get this a completely different part if you would like because not everybody likes a middle part. So I think it would be easily done. You could put a little steam on here. You could wash it, pin it back, train it off your face. Easily, easily done. Thanks for joining me today and having a look at this new style from John Renault Dawn. Again, reach out to us at support at Week Studio One if we can help you in any way. And join us in our private Facebook group, Week Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.